Let's talk about section two of the Canadian Electrical Code. Section two is a very special section. Section two has all the general rules. There are two categories of general rules. There are administrative rules and there are technical rules. In this video, we're gonna talk about the administrative rules and only two of them that are so important that absolutely everybody has to know them. And you should know them already. Honestly, they make sense. So Canadian Electrical Code, Section 2, General Rules, Administrative Rules, and Technical Rules. It's a section of the code that has all these all-encompassing requirements um, that can be superseded by specific sections, but they are intend to apply to all sections unless they get superseded by a specific section. So you need to know Section 2. You need to know these general rules the administrative rules and the technical rules, but you also need to know all of the other sections to see if they get superseded by something very specific. That's what the code is about. So why do we have these general rules that are administrative and technical in order to ensure compliance and, uh, and safe installation? The administrative rules are here to assist all of the regulators across Canada in adopting all of this code for their regulatory purposes. So these are used as a guide. And so they're going to be different from, you know, they're going to be adopted differently by each administrative authority across Canada. But these are the guidelines that help them standardize their requirements. Here are what the rules are. I won't read them all to you, but they, they go from special requirements and and permitting and applications and fees. You know, these would all be general things no matter who your governing authority is going to be in Canada. Uh, there are some specific ones like deviation and postponement and interference. What I'm gonna talk about the, in this video are two of the most important ones, and that's rule four, uh, permitting, and rule 12, notification of inspection. And this should be very well known. So here's the bottom of what I'm gonna be talking about today. No other um, page will I be talking about today. These two very, very important rules and we'll save the rest of these administrative rules from section two for another video. First one, make sure you obtain a permit. The person responsible for carrying out the work Make sure, first of all, make sure that you are legally responsible for carrying out that work. But if you are an electrical contractor who is legally responsible for carrying out this work, who is permitted to carry about, uh, out this work, must obtain a permit from your inspection department, whatever your inspection department is, before commencing the work. That doesn't mean you start installing. That doesn't mean you start an alteration. That doesn't mean you perform a repair and then get a permit. That means you stop you get a permit. Once you obtain the permit, then you can install, you can alter, you can repair, you can do an extension of that electrical equipment. You do not work without a permit. Very important. And the second one is notification of inspection. The inspection department shall be notified in writing by you, the electrical contractor, that the work is ready for inspection so that the inspection can be performed before that work is concealed. So you don't do the work, you don't pull the permit, do the work, put up drywall and then ask for it to be inspected. No, it has to be inspected before it is concealed. Now, I'm not gonna click on this link here to give you some examples of administrative penalties, but if you really want to look at this list of people and uh, see the kinds of fines because every day this is updated with more and more fines that people have not got their permit or they've started work before their permit or they haven't got their inspection at the right time or they've closed in walls before they're inspected. You know what? Your name goes up here. Your name, your number, what you did and what your fine was goes up here. So do not be on this bad list. Stay off this bad list by making sure that you follow these two general administrative rules in section two of the Canadian Electrical Code, that is 004 and 12, get your permit and make sure you do notification of inspection. And in other videos, I will talk about the rest of these general rules, these administrative rules and the technical rules. Very important section, section two of the Canadian Electrical Code.